hello there welcome to the email template tutorial part 2 in this video we will make a single column HTML email template in previous lesson we uh, left this in this position so we can remove the junks we had and add our common CSS and media query that we mentioned before in the index file you see here we have the common media query and CSS files that we can have for all of our email templates so you can copy from this head part to this head part and add in our template so we should replace this head with the head part we just copied from our main template ignore the title this is not a necessary thing for our HTML email template I can go through a brief of the CSS codes used here but you can check the other HTML file I will attach with my tutorial here you will see the explanation of the CSS code uh, used in the template so please go through it let's make our first structure our email template will start with the table this table will be full with these three things you should write for all the table properties this uh, resets all the default border or column spacing or column paddings in various email inboxes and with 100% will allow it to make the structure full width on your browser or on your inbox. The body have to contain some common CSS that you will find in the mother template here. The CSS is here. There should be a class that you have to use with this code. What class you will write here needs to be placed here and for the full width table you have to have another class that class you have to add here this is for gmail and gmail app gmail and gmail app to uh, make it full width and to make it full height you have to add this reset code in your email so we as we copied all of our head part here we don't have to touch anything from here just add our common CSS and common classes from here and for this table this is our outer table now as email template have with limitations like 600 pixel to 800 pixel we will add some inner table as we know after table we should add tier and then td we can add that and then we can add our internal table structure width of this table will be similar to the width that you want on your email template suppose i want my email template to be 600 pixel width and i can add it here and we can have a background color which is not necessary but just adding to show you how it looks i just added a white background color you should not add css background color like style background color 
this is not supported on most platforms uh, so you should add it like this bg color like this here are some additional style you have to add for the outer table like this style layout fixed table style layout fixed and you have to align it center if you don't align it center it will remain still centered but in some clients align center on the td will help you to keep it centered okay so we have our internal 600 pixel table so let's add some contours all of your email styles that you want to add in your elements should be in the td section don't add style on table or tier add your style on td section and we can have some spacing like this above and below to add spaces you can add padding top or padding bottom but don't add just padding 10 pixel this will be unsupported on a few inboxes so don't use this instead use padding top padding bottom like this the best bulletproof idea is adding a space like this height and this style resets any other formatting of this table data so you have to use it like this you can add or reduce this number to add or reduce the spacing so this is what I, we got a wrapper the table you can control click on this space to see the structure this is our full width table this is our full width table the full warp is here this is a 600 pixel table the 600 pixel table is here and the 10 height is here and the 10 height is here and the headline is here the table data headline is here as your email template can have several sections you can add one more table table and add the inner contents here For next section, you can simply copy this and add your another section here like this. To add a background to this, to add a background to this, you can write busy color and add your background like this 
currently this template is non scalable that means in mobile devices you have to scroll right and left to make this uh, template visible properly as we already have all of our media queries and CSS codes so we don't have to write any other media query or CSS code to make this responsive or mobile supported what we have to do is you will see in my in the media query there is a see uh, there is a class like em yeah, main table so this is our main table what we have inside the wrapper like 600 pixel to 800 pixel this will be our main table so we have to add this class here to make this table responsive in the mobile devices the em yeah, main table the main table we currently have 600 pixel this is a fix to it but when it goes below the 650 pixels or 650 pixel then it will be uh, goes below the 650 pixel then it will be full width and let's refresh it and see what happens we don't have a scroll bar here and in mobile devices like here you see the inspector there is various screen sizes you can active and you can test it from here we don't have a scroll bar here so this is responsive now how to add a responsive image to it i just add another sections a section that means tier td table and added my full width image section here this is my full width image section the image needs to be under the table data tier td table data and if you want to your image to be clickable then you have to warp it with a anchor tag like this in image you have to add your source suppose i am adding a dummy image via dot plus order dot com slash 650 into 200 suppose i am using a 650 200 emails change your values from here 650 pixel we don't have a 650 50 pixel uh, template but 600 pixels so i am adding the 600 here i am adding the 600 here as well and 200 will be written here don't miss the height the width these properties this is necessary for your outlook and any other email inboxes you have to add the max width of 600 pixels or whatever you have here to make it well rendered in various email inboxes and other things will remain as it is the border zero um, height auto and other parts you see you have to have it here like this so this block is for a full width image let's see how it looks for some reason the placeholder image is not responding maybe for the placeholder hosting issues the website is temporarily limited so uh, we can get one image from our own uh, MailChimp directory suppose we picked this this image In email template, you cannot add your images from any other folder. You have to write the image path directly here in the source. You have to host the images anywhere like in your website or MailChimp server or anywhere else and add it here. You can open a free MailChimp account 
and add your images from the content studio go to my files and click on the upload and select your image to upload it here and then click on the image file and go to view details and copy the url to use so how it looks now is this you may notice that the height 200 pixel is not that height of this image so how to get the height of this image just right click and go to inspect and hover over that section here hover over that section and you will see the height here 342.9 that means 343 pixel 343 that you have to enter here to make it well viewable in various email inboxes and as you see we have a class em full width this is for the full width images the class you you can find it in our media queries like here the full width em full width what uh, it will do in a smaller devices uh, like below 650 pixel uh, that it will make it full width and height will make uh, auto and maximum width is 100 pixel so how it will look in mobile devices you can see from here is this something like your mobile device is 360 pixel width and then it will show it like this if this was not a uh, responsive template then it will look like this a non-responsive or non-mobile scalable template will look like this in mobile devices so that's it for today in next video we will learn how to make multiple columns and multiple sections here and play around it thanks for watching let me know if you have any other questions or any help I will attach this HTML with my files. Uh, you can see in the video description below. Have a great day. Bye bye.